Today, we're talking about why people get angry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everyone can get angry sometimes, but it's good to know why and how to work it out. So, Elena, why do you think people get angry? People get angry because people break promises. So Rapunzel wanted to do something even though it might hurt somebody's feelings and she was kind of worried about that. I hope you're not still talking about the stars. Floating lights, and yes, I'm leading up to that. Because I really thought we dropped the issue, sweetheart. She wanted to go out of the tower, but her mom was saying that she shouldn't. Oh, come on! Enough of the lights, Rapunzel! You are not leaving this tower! Ever! And she was having conflict with herself. I should go. No, I should stay home. I should go. Oh, no, I should stay. I should go. Uh, no tomorrow. I should go. And she was having conflict with herself when she left. Like, should I go back? I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! <laughs> Mother would be so furious. And that's kind of like Moana, too, because she wanted to do what was right for her people, but everyone else thought, no, you can't go. There's a whole ocean. We have one rule. An old rule when there were fish. A rule that keeps us safe but Dad, instead of endangering our people so <gasps> you can run right back to the water. She knew that she had to do this. We were voyagers. We can voyage again. She had faith in herself, and she was confident she could do it. When Rapunzel was going, she had Flynn, who was guiding her. Yeah, but with Moana, she had a chicken and a pig. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are right. I'm gonna go. Let's go on my adventure. <laughs> Belle had to make a really hard decision. She had to stay at the castle in order to save her dad. And I'm sure I would not want to stay in a freaky castle with dancing utensils. Oh yeah, and a big, scary beast. But then she realized that the beast had another side. You just have to be open to learning new things about people like Belle. The more things she learned about the beast, the better friends she became with the beast. Sometimes you look rough, but in the inside, your heart just needs a little help. I know I was being so mean and grouchy earlier. I hope I can make it up to you, Belle. Of course. Why don't we go get some tea and get to know each other better? Did someone say tea? <laughs> Merida, you are a princess. And I expect you Mom. to act like one. Forgiveness is a really good way to solve conflict. It is, because like with Merida, she had a conflict with her mom. Her mom wanted her to be this pretty, perfect, yeah. picture-perfect princess, but, but she wanted to just, just be on her own. She wanted to be free. She, she wanted, wanted to, to ride a horse. horse. Yeah. What's this? It's a peace offering. I made it for you. And her mom turned into a bear. I oh, mean, yeah. That's a that pretty, must have been like, scary. Well, yeah, we kind of need to, you to turn back into normal. But then they got to spend more time together, and then they forgave each other. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. They saw each other's point of view. I'm sorry we said those mean things to you. Yeah, we didn't think about it before we said it. Yeah, those did kind of hurt my feelings, but I like that you guys apologized. I forgive you. Group hug. Group hug. Come on, let's go play. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us at the Disney Princess Club where we talked about how conflict is a general thing of life. Even Disney princesses deal with it. Mm-hmm. You don't want to hurt people's feelings, but it's okay to set healthy boundaries. Yeah, you never know how somebody's feeling, so it's always important that you look at their perspective. Well, let's promise each other to always be kind and talk things out. Yeah! yeah. Group high five! High five! Woo! Bye! Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to the Disney Princess Club. I'm Isabella. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Gwendolyn. Love is a really important emotion and there's lots of different types of love. So let's talk about it. So what do you think Disney princesses love? Well, I think Ariel loves like collecting trinkets for a collection and dreaming of adventures. 
smash and flounder. Soon yeah. to all my best friends. Let's go on an adventure in the sea. Let's, Let's go. go. She followed her dream to go on land and she loved her family and she loved her dad so much. She saved her dad from the evil Ursula. <laughs> so that love is so strong. And Yuyo loves flounder. You could love like even a fish. Jasmine, she loves Raja so much. Pets have such an unconditional love. And that's a great example for us too because we should love people unconditionally. Also, you could just open up to your pets and they'll keep your secret. <laughs> <laughs> Raja, can I tell you a secret? Wow. Okay. You can't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> that's what I love about you, Raja. So sometimes in life, we have to make really hard decisions. Mulan loves her family, even if it means hurting the people she loves the most. Love can be complicated that way. Yeah, she had to leave everybody and to protect her dad. Love will make you do anything important for your family or your loved ones. I don't know if I could do this, go out by myself. Mushu, help me! No, you can definitely do this. You're doing this for your dad, you're doing this for your family. So let's get on a move, believe in yourself. Okay, so let's go. So Tiana and her dad, they have such a great connection together. And that passion that her dad had to cook sparked something in Tiana and she worked so hard to get that restaurant. She wanted to pursue his dream, his memory could carry on and live on in her. I also think it's important to love yourself too. Oh yes, it's definitely good to have confidence in yourself. Mm -hmm. With that confidence, you can take you anywhere. Hey guys, since you guys are my best friends, I made you guys a big donut. Whoa, oh, well, you can't you. eat it by ourselves, you can eat it with us. Yeah, let's dig in. It's so good, Tiana, thank you so much. Thank That's you so, amazing. so much. Friends forever. I Group love hugs. you guys. Thanks for joining us in the Disney Princess Club. Today we learned that princesses love themselves and people in their lives, like friends, family, and even pets, because it's important to stay true to your feelings. Tell the people in your life you love them as often as you can. Bye! Hi everyone, I'm Sage. And I'm Briella. I'm Scarlett. And welcome to the Disney Princess Club. Today at the club, we wanted to talk about something that we think is really important. And it affects everybody, even princesses. Making friends. So Sage, do you think it's hard to make friends? I think it depends on the exposure you've had. For Rapunzel, she was just in a tower all her life. Yeah, I don't think so. So she doesn't really have that exposure on knowing how to interact with many other people. Poor Rapunzel, she didn't even know she had a really big town. <laughs> but then when she went out into the town with Flynn or Eugene, you could call him, then she met a lot of new friends that maybe weren't the most typical people, but she really did give them a chance. I remember when I moved to a new place, I didn't really quite fit in because I was different. Being different's okay, but I didn't know anybody. What is this place? And like Belle, when she moved to a new place, she met all kinds of unlikely friends. Splendid to see you out and about, mademoiselle. I am Cogsworth, head of the household. This is Lumiere. Enchanté, chérie. When I was at my dance class, I, I was new. It's very hard for me to make friends. I've never had any real friends. <laughs> Except you, Raja. And so like Jasmine, she wanted to get out of her palace. She was in this little town. She met friends, like Aladdin and, and his pet monkey. What makes a good friend, Scarlett? Someone who's honest, loyal, generous, kind, helpful. Having friends is important because you have someone to talk to and share your feelings with, and like tell jokes and <laughs> have fun. A friend creates half your personality because they really build you up with all your strength. 
I think a friend is important because because they always got your back. Yeah. And when you're down, they can get you up back again. <laughs> so, Scarlett, what are some ways that you can make a new friend? You listen to them. You can talk to them about those things that they like. Hey, do you want to have lunch with us? Yes, of course. Hi, I'm Rapunzel. What's your name? My name is Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Belle. Nice to meet you, Jasmine. Nice to meet you, Belle. You can make a new friend with anyone if you really get the time to talk to them. Do you guys know any gymnastics? No. I know. I know. A double flip. Double flip time. Woo! But I prefer to do Dance. Okay, fine. We'll do it your way. <laughs> Dance. You can do gymnastics. Dance. One of my best friends now, whenever I need help on my homework, she won't tell me the answer, but she'll definitely help me out so much when I need it. This, this homework, homework is, is so easy. easy. I could do it in my sleep. Guys, I'm having trouble with it. Do you want mm, us to help, we'll you? help you? Sure. Well, we have a strategy that we used on ours. What's seven times five? 35. 35. Right, and 35 plus seven equals, equals 42. Then what's seven times six? 42. Perfect. Yeah. So guys, what Disney princess would you want to be friends with? I would like to be friends with Jasmine, Belle, actually maybe all the princesses. <laughs> yeah. They all are very unique in their own ways, but if I had to be friends with just like one or two, I picked Snow White because she's very helpful. She made things for the seven dwarves every day. Yes. And she was kind to them. We can be ourselves like Belle. We can be brave like Princess Jasmine. And we can work together like Rapunzel. And next time you're wondering what to do, try some princess wisdom. See you next time. Bye. Welcome to the Disney Princess Club. I'm Nyla. And I'm Alyssa. Today, we're going to be talking about courage and kindness. Courage is having the ability to do something that may scare you. It means to be brave. And kindness means to be friendly, generous, and considerate. It's like being nice. The princesses definitely show courage and kindness. They always think about others before they think about themselves. I've learned a lot from them. What have the princesses taught you about courage and kindness? They've taught me that it's important to help others, whether or not they can help themselves. Like Belle and Mulan, who had the courage to save their dad's lives by trading places with them. I think that definitely took courage because I think I'd be too scared to live with a beast. Me too. Or like Ariel when she was kind enough to save someone who needed her help. She did that even though she wasn't supposed to be kind to humans. Right, but she knew, just like all the other princesses, the importance of being kind and courageous. Sometimes you just have to help people. I personally admire Moana's courage. She really inspires me to be like her. Really? How so? When Moana left home so that she could save her community, she left behind her friends, her family, and the only place she's ever known. Leaving friends and family isn't easy. It's not easy at all. And although I didn't venture alone, I still wanted to be unknown when I moved to a new state. I had to make new friends, start a new school, and get accustomed to the new town all at once. Were you scared? Yeah. Well, that's okay, because everybody gets scared. Look at Maui. If Maui can get scared, we're all allowed to get scared. <laughs> it's not all bad. I actually like the change. I think of relocating as an adventure. It's a new experience, and I'm always ready to try something new. Even though I might not always know what lies ahead, I remember that happiness is where you are. There are many positives to relocating and making new friends. What do you like most about relocating? Probably that I get to make new and more friends and explore the new area. So whenever I get nervous or scared, I remind myself to be courageous just like Moana. Remember when she jumped on that boat to save Hei Hei? Even when Maui was willing to run away, he was like, bye. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Not only did she save her friend and the heart of Tefiti, but she went up against hundreds of Kakamura coconut pirates all by herself. Moana is definitely someone to look up to whenever you need a boost of courage. Yeah. 
What about you, Alyssa? Which princess do you look up to? I look up to all the princesses, but if I had to choose one, it would be Cinderella. She inspires me to be kind. She remained a good person even when she was being mistreated. Yeah, it's hard to be nice to someone who wasn't nice to you, but yet she managed to do it. Yes, she did. I also think that sometimes people may not be nice to you because they could be having a bad day. So I try to remember that. It's very important for me to be kind to people. Why is that? When you see someone in a bad mood or they're not being nice to you, you don't know what happened to them before you saw them like that. So I'm kind to them and sometimes it's the highlight of their day. And maybe they'll be kind to you back. And when I'm kind to people, they smile at me, they laugh with me, and they teach me new things. I create good relationships when I'm kind. Yeah, you are kind. That's why you're such a good friend. Aw, thanks. I'm glad we can still be friends, even though we live in different states. Yeah, we're just a phone call away. Or in this case, a video call. <laughs> I like that the princesses inspire us. They help us navigate through life because we can all relate to them in some way. Absolutely. And talking about our feelings helps too. I never looked at moving to a new place as an adventure until you explained it to me. It isn't that bad. It's a great opportunity to start over and try something new. You have your old friends and you get to make new ones too. Exactly. And you made me realize that when I'm kind to people, it does make me feel good. I'm happier when I help someone or share my things. Even if I smile at someone and have them smile at me back. It's an act of kindness. Right. This is so much fun, Nyla. It really was. Thank you so much for watching the Disney Princess Club. Don't forget to be kind and courageous today. I'm Nyla. And I'm Melissa. Bippity 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 bye. Bye. Welcome to the Disney Princess Club. I'm Reagan. I'm Elena. And I'm Alyssa. Today we're going to be training like princesses because princesses are so strong. Yeah. The princesses we're doing today are Milan, Ariel, and Moana. So, are you guys ready to train like a princess? Yes, yes we're, we're ready. ready! Before we train, we have to stretch. Stretching is very important. Stretching helps with flexibility and to improve range of motion. And it gets our bodies ready for action. All right, are you guys ready? Let's yeah. put out our yoga mat. Let's do this. All right, let's start with our stretches. Make sure to put your legs hip distance apart. Next, you're gonna put your head down for two seconds, and then put your head up for two seconds, and then roll your neck slowly. And then the other side. And that's all. Now, moving on to the arms. So bring your arms out just like this. And then bring it up for two seconds. And one side for two seconds. And now the other. Awesome. Now it's time for a leg stretch. So make sure to keep your legs hip distance apart. And then go down on one side. Hold it for a few seconds. And then go to the other. I love stretching, but now it's time for a workout. Yeah. Let's get it. Before we get started, remember to do these exercises at your own pace. Take breaks to catch your breath or to drink some water. Yeah, we have our water bottles handy because we're gonna need it. And one of us will do a modified version of each move. For the first move, I'll be using a resistance band. If you don't have a resistance band, that's no problem. I'll show you the modified version. For our first move, we're going to be doing the Moana rowing move. First, put your legs straight together and then grab a resistance band. Then put it on the tip of your feet and then grab it from the middle and then pull back and forward. And when you go forward, make sure your arms are straight. I'll show you how to do the modified version. So all you gotta do is touch your toes and then pull back. All right, here we go. We're gonna do five. One, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> wow, I can really feel that in my legs. Yeah. yeah, me too. It feels like I'm actually rowing a boat with Moana. I'd love to be in a boat with Moana. That'd be so cool. And Hey Hey. <laughs> and Maui. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. After I forget, hey, hey. He's the best. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next exercise. Now we are going to be doing the Moana Warrior. We're going to go side, side, up, down, three times. Pretend like you're holding an imaginary oar, just like Moana did. Yeah, let's do this. Side, side, side up, down. down. Side, side, up, down. down. Side, side, up, down. Now I'm feeling like a warrior. I'm thirsty. Yeah, don't forget to stay hydrated. Now we're gonna be doing the aerial swim move. So all you gotta do is lay flat on your belly, on your floor or mat, and lift your arms and legs up like you're swimming. And I'll be doing the modified version. I'm going to lay down just like them, and I'm gonna do the same arms, but not the same leg. And always remember to go at your own pace. Okay, let's look, set the timer for 10 seconds. You got this. Keep coming, we're almost there. I'm feeling more mermaid by the minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. That was a lot of hard work, but it was really fun. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Now it is time for our final move. Now we're going to be doing Mulan Squat. And we're gonna be doing it three times and I'm gonna be using good stick and sandbags. I'll be using some super fun weights. And I'll be doing the modified version. So all you gotta do for your squats is put your feet hip width apart and then pretend you're sitting into an imaginary chair. Great job. So let's get started. Okay. One, two, Three. That's our squats. Yep. Wow, that was a workout, but it felt really good. Now it's time for the cool down. It's important to cool down after a workout because it helps limit straining your muscles and joints later on. It also helps with flexibility and to improve your performance the next time you work out. And it makes you feel so much better. Yeah. yeah. First, we're going to be doing arms. What you want to do is you want to keep your feet hip width apart and make sure your toes are facing front and then we're just gonna go up and down. And we're gonna do this three times. Down. Trying to be very elegant. <laughs> just like a princess. Yeah. Now we're gonna do what we did earlier. Spread your legs apart and have your feet straight. And then you're gonna go down for three seconds. Other side. Okay, awesome. Now we're gonna do the next part. For the last and final part, we are going to bring our foot up like this, like a flamingo. <laughs> and then bring your opposite arm up for balance. Let's do it for three seconds. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't forget the other side. One, two, three. If you mess up, don't worry, just continue on. And that's our cool down. I feel cool. Whew. That was such a hard workout. Yeah. But princesses work hard too, and we learned how to do that. Yeah. Cheers to, to princess, princess training. We had a great time training like princesses, and I hope you did too. If you have enough energy, you can watch this video again. Thanks for watching. I'm Reagan. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Elena. Until next time. Bippity boppity bop!